forbidden in various ways. Social media and online platforms helps information and opinion to spread rapidly. Whether it's voting, buying products or joining movements, words can move people to take action. Hello everyone, I'm Sai Sharan. Today I'm going to tell you a story on the theme, The Pen is Mightier Than This Word. Let's begin. The Triumph of the Queen. In a distant land, there lived a kingdom named Kaval. It was plagued by darkness. King Simon ruled with an iron fist. He always said, Obey me or I will behead you. Thus, silence in any descent with his powerful army. The citizens lived in fear. Their voice stiffened by the oppressive regime. The citizens prayed for sunshine. Amidst all this, that of the young scribe named Elara. Elara possessed a remarkable gift. You know what? Give for words. And she had a heart filled with compassion. She turned to a quill. She wrote eloquent letters about people's pain and dream of freedom. One day, Elara's letter got in the hands of a group of rebels, read by the enigmatic captain Thron. As he read Elara's words, he understood the potential of the pen to unite people to stand against King Simon. One day, Elara's letter got in the hands of a group of rebels, read by the enigmatic captain Thron. As he read Elara's words, he understood the potential of the pen to unite people to stand against King Simon. Throne sought out Elara. Elara hesitated at first. She said, No, no, I fear the consequences of openly challenging the king. But Throne's conviction and people's desperate cry swayed her. She joined the rebellion. She kept singing, the pen is the power, the pen is the power, I pen it, record it, they listen for hours. The rebellion gained momentum. King Simon grew uneasy. He attempted to quell the uprising sword. He asked the soldiers to capture the throne and his followers. But Elara's words has ignited a fire in people's heart that could not be extinguished. Elara stood near the gathered mass. She spoke of unity, of power of empathy and knowledge. As Elara's words reached Simon, Simon's sword dropped to the ground. He realized that his rule was built on suffering and fear. As Simon surrendered, the streets of Kaval erupted in cheer. They celebrated the power of birds over brute forces. Now this explains that the pen is indeed mightier than this word. The power of words is immense. A well-chosen word is often sufficient to stop a flying army and to save an empire. Thank you.